Hello YouTube, this is Paul from Holster Pro Gun Leather. Today I just want to show you um, another new shoulder holster I've got here. Today I'm going to demo it with my SIG P365. This is my model 189 elastic band over the shoulder, one arm sling shoulder holster. That's a lot of words for a simple little product here. I'm going to demo what it looks like on a body. I'm going to put it on a mannequin and put it on myself in just a minute. Um, but first I like to go over the essentials. This is a horizontal shoulder holster, so this will be carried uh, facing front to back. As you can see with all my holsters, everything important is covered. It is physically impossible to pull the trigger while this thing is holstered. I've got the retention strap on the back side there, so it's not going anywhere. You can shake it upside down, do anything you want. It's not moving anywhere until somebody, you, depresses the thumb brake and draws the weapon. So let's get it back in there for just a second and show you some of the features on here. I use a very high quality English bridal leather. Uh, it's durable, it's strong, it's a little thicker than some others, but um, it's gonna last forever and it protects every ounce of that gun that is covered. I do leave the muzzles open on this. Uh, I never like stitching muzzles shut. I have to add a lot of extra leather around here to get that muzzle stitched shut and it makes it an awkward draw. It sits in there oddly and it collects a ton of lint in there. So at the open backing there, I like that it lets it breathe a little bit. If there's ever any moisture or sweat or anything like that, it lets all that escape and your gun stays in great shape. Perfect fit, as you can see, it's a pancake holster, so it's gonna look the same on the front as it does on the back side there, except for our thumb brake on the back side. So when we open this up and draw it, this gun is not loaded, I assure you. I put a little piece of foam and rubber over the backing there, so none of that metal from the little snap there touches your gun leather, or your gun metal. So let's talk about this holster for just a second. What I've done is put some Kodiak leather here for our and I have tied them together with uh, just some leather lacing. I've used paracord on a few of these. It makes no difference to me. Just uh, let me know if there's something different you'd like on there. I find this stuff to be really strong and durable. You can tie it and untie it a hundred times, whereas paracord on the inside, inside, some of the guts come out. And you have to reburn the edges. I don't like doing that. I left myself a lot of extra leather here to adjust for different bodies. I've also got the different punch holes in there for sizes going around uh, different size bodies and I can make it to fit yours specifically. What I recommend is the size, and this is specified on my website, the size you'll order this for is pretty much the same size as your t-shirt, whether you go small, medium, large, extra large, or even bigger than that, just let me know. I've got the variable connection points here on the shoulder strap too, which is made of very, very strong Kodiak leather. And then we come around to the back side, and you've got some elastic. This is one and a half inch heavy duty elastic, it goes right around your other shoulder and under your armpit. My own size, I'm very aware of, so I made this to snap and I made it permanent on models I sell retail. I will have an adjustable slide here so you can move that elastic around. But once you come to the point where uh, you know the size you're gonna stick with, I'd recommend uh, that we really tighten it down on there. And uh, it, it makes it very, very comfortable. And this stuff can be worn all day long. So really high quality leather. Let's get to the demo video where first I'm gonna show you what it looks like on our mannequin. And before we get to the mannequin, I think it's worthwhile to mention, because these connection points are so simple, and this is just a simple couple square knots in the back here, you can keep one harness and have the holster made for a couple different guns. I was carrying this gun, this holster, uh, this morning with my Glock 19 before I made this video. Of course, I have the real one at home. I just used the fake ones here in the shop. They're the exact same size, but it is easy to switch that out, tie on tie, and I'd recommend checking those knots every once in a while, but they're very secure if you tie them the right way interchangeable holsters for one model. That's awesome. So here we are in the live demo portion of our video and to help us do that is Fred. I like Fred because he hangs around the shop all day and never says shit. So here we can see where the holster is hanging just underneath the armpit area. It is a perfect fit and it'd be a nice little comfortable reach and draw across his body there. Fred's body is a little bit smaller than mine. Uh, it's a mannequin that is a, a large. I consider myself probably an extra large here. So on the settings, it's a little bit bigger on him than it is on me. But the good news is I put these extra holes in the Kodiak portion of the holster and in the shoulder harness as well. So you can adjust the tightness there. I've got some really strong leather lace in there holding the, the holster up. Some people have asked me to use paracord. That's on the front and back. Um, some people have asked me to use paracord, which is just as easy as me as the leather. It makes no difference. So just let me know what you like. Standard will be the, para, uh, the leather. So we're going to just turn it around the back here and see where the elastic band comes around and loops right under your arm and keeps it pretty tight. Even with this being considerably bigger on Fred than it is on me, it's still a really good fit. So I call that an A+. show you how easily this thing is put on and taken off. Uh, we've taken the gun out of the holster here. We no longer have our fake in there. I'm gonna make sure everything's lined up correctly. One arm through, just like putting on a jacket. 
other arm through the elastic, straighten out everything that needs to be straightened out, and we are good to go. So what I'm going to do now is take my gun out of my inside the waistband holster, holster it, put the retention strap around, snap her down, and everything is good right there. Easy, comfortable, can wear it all day long, and it is just as easy to remove. Here's our draw, one hand, reholster that inside the waistband, and there it is. Great little design, very comfortable. All right, so hopefully you found that helpful and informative. If you have any other questions or comments, please click the boxes below and write what you gotta write. I'll try and get back to you. I always do try and get back to people as fast as I can. I guess you could subscribe and like if you'd like, but you don't have to. I'd rather just visit my website. And there's a link in my bio for this video to this product on the website where everything is made here in the United States of America. Any other questions, get in touch with me and shoot safely.